we back the midnight rabbit hole if you're up late night if you're up in the day but just thinking and you if know, you're up in general <laughs> give me something more to think about maybe so this is you know i think everybody loves tiktok now because everybody uses it and it's addictive and all that this video was super funny to me <laughs> kevin like, loves tosh Oh yeah, okay. I used to watch it back in the day. Yeah, I don't know if he, he used to come on like late night or something, right? But yeah, he had a show. Now, I don't uh -huh. know if it's yeah. on or not. But look at this. Okay, here's this segment <laughs> called "Is It Racist?" Yeah. <laughs> now watch this. I don't know if you've seen this or not. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Time for a special Black History Month edition of Is It Racist? <laughs> That's where I show you a racist clip and you decide if it's racist. <laughs> this segment has never been more important. It's never been more important. How do you watermelon eating contest? Look, look. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Is that uh, even how you do it? She knew what she was doing. Dude. But it's just, you got the white people with the yeah. cheer on, it's a watermelon cut. Oh. Is it racist? Down. It's definitely, racist definitely uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> However, when someone's eating it that aggressively, you might not want a bunch of old white women cheering her on like they've got money riding on them. <laughs> so yes, I believe that was a tad racist. And I know how uh, yeah. I, I thought that was super funny. But, um... Cut that off real quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this time I was, I was humorous. Oh my god! Yeah, TikTok, that was quite man. a technique too, though. Like, you know, if someone's just good at something, they're just good at something. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They're gonna show that one though. <laughs> <laughs> let me get your, uh, let me get your live going in the back. I think it cut you off right there. So let me get you with the live background. Wait, I'm going to get out of the way. Like, I'm, am I supposed to be showing this? Or should I be like, oh, uh -oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah, it it. Over. Oh, because it's cord. That's all right. Make sure we can see you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I look really claws. tiny. Okay, yeah. Okay. Bam, like that. Whoop it. Right, here we go. You're in New York City. New York City, baby. That's your town. Oh my god. I feel like it's getting really bad again. Yeah, like uh like nineteen eighties bad. New York City. I see so I get all these blurbs on YouTube mm -hmm. and um I get all states. Like I don't even know how they've pinpointed me because I literally get everything. But there was this guy who was beaten up on the subway. It was a weatherman, like a local weatherman was just he, the, he got the shit kicked out of him what? on the subway what? because uh, from a, a bunch of teens. Oh, this is like two days ago. Teens stuff is crazy. Yeah. Uh, because he tried to stop them from from pestering an old man, and apparently oh. he was like lighting this old man's hair on fire. Or not he, but the kids, okay. the the teens were like. Right, kids be man. Kids are beautiful. Kids are already kind of like when they're born, just really mean. Like they don't really care. They don't get the. Oh, After effects empathy. of it, yeah. I'm trying to teach my daughter right now. Like, oh, calm down. You know, they play with her sister. I'm like, you can't, you know, just pull her hair for no reason. You know, those things. If you're not taught that, I'm sure you get to the teen status. You know, oh, my, my daughter's fine. And then you're lighting somebody's hair on fire. Like, if you're not taught, if you're okay. not taught, to, that's no, no. I'm sure. Like, no, there's no, no way. There's, there's no <laughs> way. No, there, no. There, right? Sixteen there's year no, old. That's what you talk about. At a young kid, if your parents said was on that tough to not do stuff like that there's no way you're gonna be at 16 and unless your peer pressure but all the whole if your group, parents are doing shit like that and you're witnessing yeah, what I'm it. Saying. but that's what it is oh, yeah. I, I always look at the damn parents man you, you gotta, i know that was you gotta, my first thought of like what on. is their home life like it's it was and it's group think too because it's a group of them so a group of them together acting right. like that oh good we're using it get her out okay. yeah so Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's just that's just a weird thing. Oh yeah, we're we're already playing it. Yeah. But um Yeah, that's just a weird the parents the apple doesn't fall too far from the damn tree. That's what they say, and it, it that certainly makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my but god. Yeah, that, that I know, a... but how terrifying is that? Like what must their parents be like? 
I mean, it, it could they, just be small, it well, could, and they don't have to be bad, but they're they're not teaching those things. You know what I mean? They're they're yeah. just walk, they're so, just like acting like that's nothing to, to teach about. Back in the days, people were strict, and if you weren't strict, you had the the Bible and shit to at least like I make think you that. think about that shit. Yeah. Nowadays, you know, people so it's free, which is okay, but it's a price you pay if you're not really doing the other things you need to like teach the kids. You get your you know hair on fire. Right. That's crazy. Well, the, so apparently the end of that article was like all charges were dropped for those kids. They were arrested, but then all charges were dropped and they were relinquished to their parents. So their parents came, they existed they and they probably, came and they picked them the up. Probably because the person that got the hair a little fire didn't want to press charges because they knew they was kids. You know what I mean? Which no. makes sense if they were like, they, they beat the shit out of some people. dude who stopped them from killing you, you old man. Okay. Oh, they beat the crap out of a weatherman. Yeah, well, a local like a, a new like an actual he's on the news. He's he's all his eyes are all up. swollen, his face is all cut up, and he yeah. was like, you know, they they took it out on me, and they sure he was like they sure did. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. And and they said that he can press charges if he if he decides he to. to. And right. honestly, I would like... because those kids need to be taught a lesson. If their parents yeah. aren't going to do it, then you'd be called a carrot. Listen, <laughs> with black saying. eyes, call me a Karen. No, just with my, that's, you know, that's how people be thinking now. Like, I can't say that. Uh, yeah, no, there's a line. There's definitely. Hey, like... so did you hear about the the, the teenage teenage girls in Canada? No. They fucking stabbed a dude to death, like as a group pack of them, and he's just talking shit, or, or he try to stop something or something, and they end up stabbing him to death. Little little Canada girls. Dude. You know uh, what, what was the guy doing? Now I have to know. Uh, like, okay, Canada. Was he trying? Was he yeah. attacking them? Were they in a bar earlier? When you say little right. girls, were they? They were walking, and I'm, I'm going to show you right now. Um, Talk about groupthink. This was like probably like three weeks ago. Let's check it out. One of the busiest intersections in downtown Toronto, only okay. steps away from where a man eight. was stabbed and died. Now police confirm eight girls are charged with second degree murder. <laughs> three of them being 13, three of them being 14, Those are dangerous and two ages. of them being 16 years of age. I have no idea what's going on. Police right. say on Saturday night, the same group of girls was involved in a separate altercation and shortly after midnight, stabbed a 59-year-old man. He died in hospital. Why are they out at that age? Like, <laughs> now, why right? you, what's your what they are alleged to have occurred that evening. Why are your parents with, having you, oh, you out in a, in a rat pack? Like, it's always their parents. They have no fear. So they don't have supervision, clearly. Right. Yeah, that's just, you know, crazy. Like, they have it anywhere. Just, just as simple as that. And like, why, these, why, though? Like, what what, what caused this? Oh, okay, so, let's see. Like, was he, I, I mean, maybe he was being a little more listen, nosy than he should be, listen. like. Be consistent with what we traditionally call a swarming. Swarming, that's what they call it. Investigators say there's no Terrifying. evidence the girls knew the victim, and they're still trying to confirm how the teens knew each other. These eight individuals, from what we've gathered so far, is that they met each other through social media. They come from crazy varying parts of the city. In the reaction to the allegations, one wow. word keeps coming up. I was absolutely shocked. Oh my God. Never yeah. have heard of anything like, like no... this. It's almost like a hazing, like, like so join swarmy. our yeah, they're game. Just, they're just walking around like, hey, yeah. what are you guys doing? Hey, are you, huh, shut up. Right. Oh, he, probably got, he probably got, hey, you guys need to calm down, you get your girls. Shut up! Yeah, I just just starts down. I guess I don't. That's just a weird. Who just carry the knife with you? Like who and just? They, just... they found them on social media. All the crazy people that carry knives. Yeah. <laughs> the they said we're gonna go swarming today. You know, like come on. Oh my god, that's scary. Yeah, no, that's uh. Extremely okay, shocking. Don't know like when you I'm, consider I'm... the age of and uh, of the of the, the people who crazy. of the individuals who allegedly committed this uh -oh. heinous crime. Right now. I cannot yeah, remember is. the last time I heard of an instance of this happening. Oh. Especially oh. Not, uh, not in Toronto, and especially not at the hand. Okay, of thank you. Well, Bye -bye. We know we've the identity to get the of the victim. Out. They say he had recently been staying yeah, in Toronto's Billy. homeless shelter system. Yeah. Resident of this shelter near where the stabbing occurred. This thing was Kenny in Toronto. No, no, don't do that. I don't want you to get bit. Don't do that. Billy. Wow. I've never seen her do that before. <laughs> oh, they probably abuse it at all. The kids. Hey, me, dude, I'm telling dude. you. Yo, I've never seen her do that before. The dog is here. Nah. Uh -uh. <laughs> you're, you're These kids are crazy now. Look at you. I'm going to abuse a dog. <laughs>
No, Billy, don't do that. No bite. <laughs> no bite. <laughs> Ran up her nose. I, I, I gotta well, take a quick break so we will put right, these little, uh, right We'll be right. Yeah, back. no Hi. Hi. Are we still recording? Yeah, we are. Our video showing now. But yeah, no, that's a crazy thing, right? Teenage girls, like, oh man, like that's come on. How I mean, worse can you get? Honestly, 13, 14 is a very dangerous age. Like, I have friends, they were doing no, the what? most scandalous shit, like mm. getting pregnant. Well, uh, skipping just, school, doing not... drugs. That that was the years when, yeah. like, I, I you know, in in high doing, school, when doing I heard of harm to somebody that. else, those a whole different category. Oh, totally. Than, like being yeah, yeah, experimental yeah. and trying to be old. You know what I mean? Like old people don't stab people to death. You know what I mean? Like they're usually trying to like yeah. be old be you know just those ideas though weren't available. I feel like with the age of the internet. Mm -hmm. And the fact that kids can search anything and, and watch they find anything, their people. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's like these white riggers, terrifying. like people that's like 
you know, these militias, they be fighting each other now. Like, yeah. it's a whole different And it's 18-year-olds yeah. now, like, grouping or um, scouting younger kids. 18-year-olds oh scouting 14 to 13, right. and they don't even know how these people right. knew each other, how these kids knew each other. Man. So it, it had to have been these 18-year-olds out there Crazy. trying to recruit. The apple doesn't fall, uh, fall far from the damn tree. Dude, if, if me, even as, you know... Um, Curious as I was at 13, 14, if I met up with a group of bitches like that and that was their game plan, right. I would have left. Right. I would have been like, not for me. 100%. Yeah. I've... yeah, I understand. Some people could be like, they're trying to be down with the other group and all that. But right. I think this, there's, they, there's they're they looking for each other on social media. They're already there. They're already that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so yeah. It, it's like, like you don't that's happen a, upon that. That's right. something. Yeah, it's you, kind of crazy. Yeah. Swarming and shit. Which is even more dangerous. Like, they're just ready. They come ready. In Toronto, too. Is and they find, I know, right? Isn't that supposed to be a peaceful place? Right. Canada's like one of the most peaceful. So, uh, Dude. what, uh, I was yeah. yeah, just speaking on that, uh-huh. the apple far from the tree, and it, like, cause I, you know, when I say that, it's, it's you know, these quotes, you know, I'm not the, the big uh, guy on quotes, cause sometimes just be off to throw you off, but yeah. um, this whole fucking, um, you see the gay couple, that the gay married couple adopted some kids, oh, and oh then raped them and sold them. Old them Sex or, like, or whatever selling their porn, them I guess. Yeah. That is terrifying. It oh. sucks because it just plays into the stereotype. What's well, like, a bad it, time it, for gay people? But it's, <laughs> you but, know, because people already be like, y'all finna adopt kids. Wait, I don't know if that's well, what's going exactly. on now with something like this having yeah, people jumping just, on it. Like, whoa, see? See? Yeah. Something's going on in yeah, there. Yeah, only give validity that? to those people who want that argument. It's a bad you know? time for, yeah. It's a bad rap right there. That's where a, did you find that? Where? Um, uh, it was on the news, so I I I think I was looking at a that's awful. A Willie D show. Shout out to Willie D. I like his show. Uh, okay. As Ghetto Boys, uh, he have his little thing. He, he bring all the the new news and stuff. It have his little ping. Kind of you know cool little thing. Yeah, I think everybody does podcasts. The guy's their favorite podcast or people they like to watch. He's he's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, so. So they say same sex couple Shit. charged with sexual abuse and oh, adopted sons. Way to bring everybody okay, else down. Just, like that that's is awful. A, uh, yeah, that's a crazy thing. But I mean, you know, yeah, there's crazy people. Straight people do shit like this, right? But this is just, you know, you know damn, ouch. I don't know. Yeah, oh wow. Now, now I typed this up and it's like other shit that just popped up right here. It's like two other uh Gay couple, look at it was sex. <laughs> yeah, there's like a pair behind below. <laughs> we may go down a rabbit hole on that and see what's going on. I was gonna say is... they can't be the first. Yeah, well, but oh boy. We don't, you know. Okay, so well, let's just hear the. Let's see what they say right here. Uh, I would, I'll show you. Well, yeah, but so they, they apparently they, they're like making yeah. money too or whatever. They make good money. I'm like, make good money. Don't do well, that. I'm saying, they're, they're We're like, not promoting why it. Why would you? Why would you? You know, you're risking your life. Is that like you really want to do it that bad? You so, know what I mean? So it's a commercial right now. It's coming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. so yeah, oh yeah, this guy. Good. This is Willie D. I know, but he was from where? You were like, shout out to him from where? Police say oh, Ghetto Boys. Oh, he was on the Ghetto Boys. Okay, boys. I didn't know that. I just and know him from all the salacious like. On camera, sometimes he's like fishing, like yeah, he be saying some shit. He's just seeing the whole, you know, old school and all that. I like it. And how did it feel when they were saying that to you? It's not bad, Willie. It's not bad. Shout out to Willie D. Or child pornography like this one did. Look at my guests continue that conversation tonight. Oh, he's saying it. Oh, I can't hear. Oh, Obviously, oh, this ahead. has started yeah. a lot of naysayers to talking, many conservatives who said this, uh, uh, it, they, they've yeah. said all along, we How shouldn't many? allow same-sex couples to adopt children. When you hear individuals say that, Mike, your thoughts Same thing I said. I didn't even see this, but kind of I just knew that was going to happen. This People started being case. like, hey, gay marriage, see? Yeah. Well, 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 at least he's like well, addressing well, well, crazy. At the end of the day, adoption okay. should be based so, on what's in the best interest you really want to have kids, um, right? You know, you were just saying, regardless you of say sexual you have to be with a woman, gender identity, to or do it, or you, 
Um, well, okay, that we, 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 we just adopt, should be taking, like, but don't they supposed to look at like how your family is and is it going to be uh, right for the kid and stuff? Even so these social workers even don't pick up on any clues. Okay. I mean, you can if, if it's the same, if it's CPS that's checking on these families for adoption, are the same ones? Yeah, they're terrible. Their personality, like these guys, they don't report shit. I mean, in LA, it's awful. What what um, these these foster families are able to do and get away with. Jack Vinson, you and it's happening today. We can't say that we've gotten better at it because they haven't. This is the Turpins. Same sex couples should not be allowed. That family of like twelve abused children who were then turned over to CPS, child protective services. I, I, think that I thought that was their actual children. It was their, yes, actual, it children. Was their yeah. actual children. Yeah. But my point is, CPS, like, it was the most um, publicized case, the right? You would um, think that you would make sure and make a point to get these kids into a safe home. Raised. They well, were I mean, abused is, is when they got rehomed, and they got um, split up. So it was like two kids here because there's 12 of them. Two kids here, two kids here, one kid here, and they literally were re-abused every single one of them. And it's been well documented. made me so mad. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Those in, kids in that in that whole born. case is like are abused again? Got re-abused, got fostered. Uh, you would think that that no, case no, this is recent. You talking yes, about recent? Yes, no. Yes, uh, yes. There's news on it. Yes, and the child protective services woman who was in charge wouldn't interview. How abused though? Like, like, because they can make because it's not fed. The money they took the money they took the family took the money and did other things, so they weren't feeding them again. They were one was sexually abused again. By a, a and, and Mike, parent. would you disagree with that? Uh, just uh, another, another kid got his own little Which is space. His own apartment because yeah, no, he was old enough, so they used to run away that, um, to his apartment, and then it finally came. And, and they were trying to report it again. They were trying to report it, but the um, woman that they were reporting it to was not listening, right and it's all documented. So there was a whole expose on the reabuse of these kids, and they were trying to get a report from the woman who was in charge of them, and she wouldn't speak to them. But she's in her heels, in her like you know G wagon, pulling up to her house, getting paid two hundred thousand, two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand. A year yes, to do fucking nothing, to not take care of these kids. Mm -hmm. It made me so angry. Yeah. With the world we understand that they, 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 um, they could probably blow it up on a portion, but if you say somebody's like sexually right? abused, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, Again, they just got that. Yeah. I would like, after what they've been through, they think yeah. they're yeah. being saved. And also, like, you know, the high profile case, just take care of these kids at least, right? They just don't do what's happening to the kids who don't even have a say or don't have like a notoriety. This well, question, what's happening to and the kids that like don't accept work on an expose? Like, like say you're, you're in CPS, right? Has in that situation, they have all the kids, they're actually related. Has put you has separate caused them? some damage. I, I feel Isn't like they did because they were different age groups, though, and because there were so many of them. Say, look, well, this is why they well, I do think like the oldest kid should either one of you can actually have action at getting all the right kids out of the And they would have loved that. And they probably would have been all the rage. They probably would have been fine. And just have somebody come and check on them. But it was because of the vast age group that they were. It was like taking, making sure they get to schools and making sure you all, all those things. So they separated them. They put like three in one home, their, two in another. Right they did, and and, and not just one home crazy. made a mistake. And, and, but yeah. multiple. They were they were multiple. They were abused by, by uh, at least three of the homes. And, 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 and were abused. It, not I bet you there's people out there that would have lined up to take on adopting all those kids at one time. But it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, they're a family. Get a story, and they can like make a big thing out of it. Like good thing. And these I were three kids. Like, like these were kids. These were kids. Are these separate? Like that bit. It should be like six and six. Yeah, two families, right? and they know each other or something like that. Like yeah. they're going to use yeah. whatever six, uh, fodder they have. Wow. Or like yeah, the the, the, the and, almost and the their, like seventeen. You know, because the one that was like an adult. There were like two adults. Two of them were adults, and the other ones were like there were some on the cusp. Like the ones on the cusp. Give them to. 
The adult I mean, one. Yeah, sure. They should have something like that. I mean, it would be only right. The like, they know but each you other. don't get as much funding. You get more funding when you have to place them into housing. So it is. Be, it benefits them Throughout to be history, placing the children. Because when they get more funding from yeah. the yeah. government. Well, they should have a housing purpose. And that's what happens. It's also for money. It's also for money. I mean, our purpose, our reason for being, is to serve. They should have housing funding for people that want to serve the people of Indiana and New York. Yes. Hard work. Men and women. From big cities. Small towns and rural communities. There just wasn't also fair to accommodate it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, but how many houses can really accommodate six children in this economy right now? July 2nd, 1862. Um, among the but, darkest states of the Civil it's, War, it's President so Lincoln shitty. signed like, a bill to preserve the industrial spirit of a divided union. They don't do it because they actually the want to take care of kids. They do it because they get paid for it. They get government funding by taking in a kid, but then they take that money and they don't give it to the child. They take kids out of the United States. They don't give it to the child. 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 They don't give it to I mean, they should make it not a business if that's yeah. the case. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. nobody's people. Money can make you like you're gonna you're stuff. gonna you, you attract those people, right? They want they want to like that. So right. I just think there's probably different ways to do it. But like and, I said, and there's if been you're a family, about if you're blood related, years. you like should be able Andy, to be in the same home. I mean, you know God. I mean? We've had movies about this shit for years. Annie's all about this about how you make money when you have a bunch of orphans. Yeah, uh, crazy. It's how are we not doing better yet? Yeah, it's, so it's kind of capable, my point but, is, yeah. my point is, if they're not, if they're not even protecting the Turpins who came from this horrible household, who you know are going to be doing follow ups, you know there's going to be a light if you and treat still, them badly. Well, that's, that's why I, I, like I want to see the, I want to see, I want to see exactly what happened because yeah. I can see somebody just making a story and making it seem like that. I'm not. You said you said you saw it, but I I, I will want to oh, see. Oh yeah, there's exactly a whole new documentary about the reabuse. These documentaries. So, so there's a whole documentary about the Turpins. Okay. There's a whole a whole documentary about wow. the reabuse. Wow, I gotta that's see how bad it, it was. Wow. And this was a year and a half ago, so yeah. it had happened. It happened right away. If like I'm the, the reabuse agency, happened right away. I'm making sure these kids is like the best wholesomest what house that would never even get closer that that's why i cried they put them in private school Dude, you're like, gonna make me cry like so, that's why I cried. yeah that's a weird weird thing right there um but you know what they were were, were they intellectually disabled or i, th I think that's they were malnourished so, so that I, can I that can yeah. really affect so, the cognitive okay, so ability maybe that's what happened because that they'll be placed in homes where it's a money-based thing and then uh, there's a there's the, the the percentage of people that's intellectually disabled getting abused is is big, which is crazy. You know, it's right. a field I work in, but yeah. I'm like, man, I, I, yeah, it's crazy. There's people out here, and then to, to you know, you have to figure out man. who they are and how right. how does that work. But yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, you know, I don't know what else they could have did in that situation. Um, but that's crazy. These the same guys with the the gay, the gay couple that the, the kids were intellectually disabled. They weren't. You know oh, what I'm saying? So, so they were slow too, so and they're taking advantage of that. They thinking, oh, they ain't gonna say nothing. They, yeah. they slow, right? And if they, they, they do, they'll think, they'll think they won't believe them, right? Even if shit the like kids that. do say something, they'll say, oh, that's why people. And that's what people. That's why that shit happens so much in the field, um, because that's what they they think they can manipulate and all that type of shit. So and it, that's your it is a crazy, your line of work. You yeah, know, you, yeah. So I you take care how, of, of right. Uh, so I can see how disabled right, and I've heard adults. stories, and I'm like, man, what the hell, you know? And there's just, just some, there's some sick people out there, um, let alone the people that, yeah, you know, you just can't, you can't see that from somebody. That's all, you know what I mean? Like you'd be like, well, okay, well, you're, you're a nice person, right. they want to care and yeah, everything, yeah. but oh, well, they mask it uh, so well too. Yeah, what the hell, you know? So, Every single person that's ever worked with them is like, I never saw that. I would have never thought, oh, not Jeremy. Oh, no way. I could have never. Yeah. Right. So it's just, uh, man. It's just wild. But that's why CPS needs to be able to read those signs better. They need to have a better, like, the, whatever they're better doing system, right now, whatever their system is, is yeah. not working. Right. It is not working. Right. Speaking of systems, so we, we, got, we got to talk about it. This is the hot topic. Uh, uh, Tyree Nichols um, beaten. Yeah, by all black it was all black uh yeah. police force so this is this is interesting uh, too because a lot disgusting. of times if it was white it would instantly be racism 
You see what I'm saying? A lot of people say, oh, racism, right? When they, when they see that, but I, I, I know it's an abuse of power. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a little racism to white people doing any, you know, like it's different They don't if they don't understand black person. So you're going to throw that in there, but police overall could get a, abusive with just the power they have. They want you to submit and shit. Yeah, oh, dude. You, I mean, oh, you need to it submit. really shines and a light on it. No, this is them. training and this is yeah. systemic. Training. Exactly. It, and that's it's why a I always say it's training, training issue. It's like, not, this it's is, not so this much a racism training. In all of you. This isn't right. just a pinning people up against each other. They do it worse. Uh, you have, I mean, you heard that yeah, uh, back in the day, I don't know if you've ever seen Boys in the Hood, but it was the black cop and he yeah. fucking with the, with the, with the black dude, like they be worse than the white dude. Uh, and maybe if yeah, you hear like any stories, they'll say that too. too, because they're like, I would be harder on you. It's like a, uh, a parent that wants to, to show the hard love, but just, you still got that power, yeah, you got that power way. hunger right there too. So it's, you just take it too far or you just, you know, lose focus yeah. on what you do. But I just, I'm like, that's, that's crazy. That happens. I've seen other incidents where it's black dudes just shoot the dude. Like, what the hell? This is somebody that looked like you, you may have a son like him. How the hell can you do that? I would want to go into these dudes backgrounds and see, because I, I, I know there's people that, that when they recruit officers, they recruit people, usually a military, they ain't all there for the first place. Like they really got aggressive manner. Oh, they really? want to be a policeman. They want some power over somebody. That's why yeah. they go to that field. Not right. everybody, but a lot of people want to do that. Yeah, and they, they be the worst it. kind when it comes to that. And I'm like, man, uh, you know, some of you, that's tr another training thing that they need to really, I don't know, they start bringing psychologists to all these fields, like everyday training, like, you know, something because yeah. it's a lot of it's just mental breakdown to how people are thinking of things. They need and, just a different perspective. They yeah. could take any profession, a freaking, uh, you know, yeah. uh, grocery bagger, just a different perspective. Well, yeah, just somebody, yeah, just to, somebody to, to train from the them, outside yeah. to say, yeah. you know, this is what it looks like to me. Right. Yeah, when, so you, I when you train this way. Right. And then. Anybody. So I guess in, in, uh, what do you don't remember? What's what city was this in? Oh, uh, let's say Alabama. No, Many, uh, no, uh, Tennessee. Yeah, I think it is Tennessee. Uh, wait, okay. but we didn't see the rest of this. Which one? The, the, the guys. Yeah. Well, I don't want to watch the whole video, but, okay. but yeah, basically yeah. they, yeah. So that's what they did. <laughs> they, they, um, so this gay couple adopted two kids. Were they this? Were they from the same family or two separate families? The kids? Yeah. Uh, I believe they were brothers. Okay. I would say they were brothers, right? I, I, you okay. know, I'm not sure on that. I guess we have to do the research on that. This is just watching. Because it sort of because you said they were uh, mentally disabled. So it's like, were they just seeking out mentally disabled kids? You know, were they just perfectly yeah. trying to yeah, adopt the, the, that? Yeah, the people that. That adopted oh, to them. God. That's what they were, you know. Oh God! They went to them. So it, when you go deeper into that, it's like, what the hell were they thinking? Yeah, they they, they the, really had sinister, sinister. The pictures of the family now, always always are so disgusting because the pictures are like so happy. Let's look at the you know when you do here. like the family pictures. Yeah. I've I've seen another yeah, another yeah, woman the, who the was picture. on like a Top Chef or she won like some um I'm not a professional chef right. cooking show right. and then she adopted a white young a white little girl right. and she had her own kids but she was abusing the shit out of this little white girl and she was taking her around and taking pictures a of black her woman? And, yes it was a black woman with a little white girl and uh, she was like she's my room. mini me and there's like all these pictures of the, little, the poor little girl just like wanting to be loved sitting on her lap and they're dressed the same but meanwhile in the background she's beating the shit out of her locking her in a closet tasing her like just total just awful Awful. Yeah. Awful. And and she was kind of a celebrity this because she'd won that stupid cooking show, the, the black lady, uh -huh. to where they weren't really investigating her. CPS really wasn't doing the calls they should have right. been right. doing. And they like weren't that. really they were letting her get away with it. That remind me of an episode on Atlanta. You, uh yeah, yes. the two, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, the two couple, white ladies who two, yeah, picked see? out that little black kid. Same exactly. Thing. Remember, and, and it's like a, a real story. Right, Remember I told you, story. I was like, right. I've seen this. This is crazy. This is getting crazy. You get these. You see, you get these. Um, yeah, the two lesbians. It was right, the two, two lesbians, lesbians who adopted the black kid. And so this is going to be a big story. topic now because you, uh, they, they don't see nothing wrong with that, right? Um, I don't think it's nothing wrong. I actually know, you know, a gay couple and they take care of kids and they're, they're loving purpose. Yeah. By choice, they take care of them. And, it, and it's, um, um, 
my circumstances and choice, but um, I don't, ain't nothing like that is happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I just feel like it's a bad rap. Like other things get bad rap, but it's all out at one time. I don't know. And, 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 but I know some people that be like that preach there's a man and woman supposed to be together. They ain't gonna be all over this. I don't know. I don't know if that, do you think they got a point? I don't know if that's a thing. Like, why would you, why would you get kids? Why won't you just you be with a woman? When you have so many kids who need a healthy home, <laughs> you know, if, you're, like if you're a healthy couple and you're communicative and you're able to provide love and right. care but for a child, okay. But you need to make sure but, that that's the home you're putting these children into. Right. And especially, it's about special needs. People don't even want to adopt people with special needs most of the time. So they're right. like, right. It's harder to play. Hey, we can, yeah. Course, they're take like, you. ding, ding, ding. This right. is awesome. And so it's a and weird thing. And these are two young, attractive, you know. Yeah, look at these guys. Like, Man, he, he uh, just, yeah. look, dude, like Jeffrey Dahmer. Maybe like Jeffrey Dahmer or something. This yeah, he like looks that. pissed. <laughs> He's oh yeah, like, we got caught. That's what they. What <laughs> yeah, are they thinking in their mind so right we now? We got caught. We got caught. Because in the pictures, they're all smiles. Man, look, like, like they didn't think they was even caught. Like that is, and they go, they got like nine life like sentences. That's, that's the face that those kids forever. saw behind the scenes. You know, never that's out of jail. when the door closes. That's the face those kids were looking at every night. <laughs> hey, I don't so believe scary. we got caught. So, so, oh. and one, so this is what I read. So the guy that told on him was like a another guy oh, that yeah. fuck with him. But they're trying to sell the kids, to, like um, tell them about the the kids and oh their porn. Oh my god! Porn. They were trying to pimp the kid so, out to and him. On social media, he's typing this. Oh, I'm gonna go fuck my son tonight and showing him the picture, fucking the son. And what? and yeah, this this he so, DM'd him that. Yeah, so the dude that this is the dude that sold everything because he got all the information. He got the shit for the, the feds. Like man, he this really is, had, he really had to get all the pictures because they weren't gonna believe it. Yeah, 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 but you know what I'm saying? So I don't, you know what I mean? It's it's just a crazy thing that, and it's a crazy thing that like people like this is doing this on social media, right? Mm -hmm. But then I hear stories like, and so, uh, there was something like we talked about before. It was a guy, he just was, they threw the porn at him, the kid porn at him, and he started watching it or collecting it and then arrest them. Oh, so right. they, they got things all the you. time. Yeah, right. yeah, right, right. So they didn't get these dudes to get baited? Like they was already, or maybe they was, I don't know. That's a cra That's crazy, like. I just watched Man. one of these where, like, in the Netherlands. I see what they're doing now, that bait shit. Because, like, they out there, you don't know who the fuck they are. I watched one of these stories in the Netherlands where, like, they, it was um, an undercover operation and they recruited, like, six um, uh, terrorists. Like, six 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 terrorists were going to go. Uh, but but literally, they, they somehow baited them all online, got them all in a group, and said, meet us if you want to buy these arms. And it was all an undercover operation. So all of it was, yeah. was police operated yeah. from the very That's beginning. Yeah. yeah. And so they, they got them in a room, they sold them the arms, and then they it was um, a gay pride parade in the Netherlands or something like that. And they they literally, the cops were staking out the, uh, the van that they knew these kids were in about to go shoot up the gay pride parade. Wow. And so right before they they opened the door they they jumped on and they they ransacked it and so it's like which comes first the chicken or the egg you know well, like, yeah, that's that's weird though because i, I do they think really they do that would these kids they have make, all done it exactly. eventually no, you can you definitely know, you bait somebody to do something it's people that's crazy right right but they won't that shit don't click on until you draw it to them so yes. They and are they wrong for doing really that type of stuff. Yeah. They do that all the time with drugs. But the kids and never stopped anything. it. They never shut it down. They literally bought all the weapons and right. they got the but van. They the, showed up. They're setting up you know? the scenario. They're they making are. you pumped they on did, it. They 100% gave you know them. You know what I'm saying? These yeah, motherfuckers yeah. ain't really but they, 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 they got they it in them. It's a jig. Yes. It's a switch. Yes. They're just turning on the switch and then blaming them. You know what I'm saying? That's a weird thing when they're doing that type of stuff. It could be for drugs, anything. Like they they they'll bait you into it and then blame you and say got you you were the right. one person that would do that yeah dude you're yeah. blaming me oh the person right. I was because born, there wasn't probably. ever any arms yes, dealer that was out there beating them the it was all fake they, the parents uh, did. but they but those kids but they bit and they bit all the way into you know to inception 
They, it's they easy, were though. literally it's, in the I, van. I, I, so you can see it. Even the motherfucker be like, oh, I don't know about doing this. Motherfucker say something else. Ah, oh, yeah. look. Yeah, I know, this yeah, is yeah. really good. Yeah. Now, now you, you, they he, gave him suits he had like a moral they act to be like, no. Like and he could just make them do it still. Like, that's a crazy entrapment shit they be doing. I, yeah. On everything. But, and they have different entrapment laws in, in, in different right, countries. So you right. can really take so, it. To yeah, so, that, so that's a crazy thing. And that's different than this. They're putting yes. this shit out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah, can't the fact find that he, them. Like, sent like, it to a friend to, to, yeah. for that guy to have that content. But they have under so it's an underground. It was an underground network ring. They do that, he which is copied. crazy in itself. Yeah, they have got... an underground ring. Just, I mean, I, I guess the ring would just be. It could be like ten people when they say that. It seems like yeah, it's like yeah. thousands yeah. of people. And because I was like, just bust the whole ring and it should be done. But yeah. I guess when they say ring, it's like oh, just these this network of people. But yeah, it, it's a. That stuff is crazy, and there's stories you hear every day. I'm like, damn, it's yeah, really people yeah. sick out there, man. It's like and forty I, I think, kids found in Iowa and either but, Ohio or Idaho. I want to know what the those, par- but, I want to know what the parents though. I want to know. I, I want to know these dudes' Iowa parents. States. I want to know these dudes' parents, just like Jeffrey Dahmer. And you hear Jeffrey Dahmer, he was like, I think he said he had them feelings before or something. Remember we saw the movie, right? You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. I bet you the parents something was wrong with with. Sometimes you can trace it back just, and sometimes you can't. You really, gets, you know, sometimes well, you can and sometimes genetic, you can't. Some, some Ted Bundy, shit there and really just isn't off. anything that makes sense. When you when you really trace back Ted Bundy's childhood, he wasn't traumatized. He had a loving mother. So no, sometimes see, you can and sometimes you can't. Well, no, see, that loving mother is great, but they have the, the detail. When they that's talk about they're loving trying to mother, figure out what's going on in the brain. They're trying yeah, to, that's they're, what they're really checking like, right. you know. Right, so how he's yeah. reacted to his mother Yeah, your chemical makeup. Crazy, like she... She was too nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who right. knows? Like, yeah. yeah let they're you do everything. I'm nice, but I'm gonna let you do everything. I'll and then you think I get away with everything. I'm gonna kill somebody. And then, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's, there's all that. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think it's ever just one thing, though. It's like right. the, a lot, that. A lot, perfect but it's a, psycho- it's a collision. system, a psychological yeah. system. Like, what you're constantly letting go in that brain. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what's oh. Your chem- what your natural chemistry is susceptible to, but then also your environment, the, the environment right. allows. Exactly. Yeah. Nature and nurture, yeah, yeah, no, man. But yeah, no, that's that's crazy, man. I, you know, that's uh. What was the other one you were just about to look up? So we were we were gonna talk about um. You were just typing something in though. I I don't know. Sure. Just gonna look at something we were talking about before. You said stay on this one, but it was um. Hmm. Terrorists? Huh? Was it terrorists? No, we were. Was terrorists? Is it? Yeah, pull it, pull up. Like, just do the last search because maybe it typed it in. No. No, I was talking about Tyree Nichols. I thought. Oh God. Right. right. That's what I, I, I was going to. You said. Stick okay, on go this ahead. One. So, yeah, we can do it. I, I forgot so what I was going to. I'll tell you right now. I haven't watched the video because I yeah. just everybody I like prepped. You, you know, yeah. we all knew it was going to be awful. Oh. And so I've only seen like a little snippet of them just, you know, Me too. Being... I don't want to see the whole thing. I'm just tired of seeing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I feel the same way. Um, the, you know, my, my, my thing was, was like, man, this y'all don't understand. This is good to see a little bit. I know. Because I know. people say it's a racism thing and it's more than that. Little race racism is in there too, because you got the uh, prejudice and, you know, you're not, I don't see yourself in me, so you're nobody. I got all that, right? Well, and they probably wouldn't have done it to a white kid, even if they're all black. So also it's still racist, you saying? I don't think all, I don't think five black cops would have done that to a white kid. Do well, you? That's what, well, that's what people are saying. It's still racist. Well, yeah, because they get in trouble like a motherfucker, but yes, that's because they just get in trouble for it. Yeah. But they get in trouble for a black, you know what I'm saying? So they could, they could at least so manipulate and lie about what this black kid did. Into, you could bring race into it. I don't think it's race. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's right. pre- prejudice. What race we played see a factor all in the, the time. The, and, yeah, yeah. you know, we, we could say, oh, you know, hard headed niggas, you know, black dude, you know, you get old black dudes, they like, man, this motherfuckers is hard headed. So that anger be damn near more on a whole different level. You know, so sometimes like I'm a police officer and I follow the rules and this he try to he try to be tough. You know what I'm saying? They be they be harder than the than the um the white cops, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes if they like if they mental was like that, especially yeah, like if, whatever they, they had like a unit special unit, so they're probably seeing some wow. shit all the time where dudes is tripping on them. 
So they're, that's like that's what I say. It's back to the training because they their environment make them fucked up more. You know what I'm saying? They could have been yeah. okay. They yeah. could have been okay officers or whatever. But you know, seeing that stuff and they just lose it one day. You yeah. know, and and not 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 thinking, and in that moment, just just tripping. I think it's very you know common. It's very yeah. common in the police force in general. Yeah, you it's, get it's desensitized like crazy yeah. when you see shit like this, and then you have you end up with no soul. Right, like because I think they were like a gang unit or something. They was like oh, anybody wow. in a gang unit that. always has negative feelings about all that shit. Like fuck, man, mm-hmm. I told you, I just, you got a, a, a police officer I knew in the neighborhood. He telling me like, yeah, man. Yo, San Bernardino, man. <laughs> you can, they can you have that it. beat. Yeah. They can have shit. It's terrible. You know, San Bernardino was like number one murder. Uh, number one murder capital. City. Yes. Yeah. It's a city. It was just weird because you'd be like, you hear LA and all that. You don't hear about San Bernardino. Well, it was just crazy. A lot of drugs and shit like that. But if you yeah. see that all the time, you start thinking negative about everybody in that situation over there. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Every and call then, you so, make, every call you take. Right. So when they pulling this dude over, what and even was the traffic violation? Was it a bullshit it was, traffic it was, violation? I'm not sure if it was tail not, lights. Not that it matters. Tail lights usually what they use. So dude, I know what I got. I, they got me. Dude, damn traffic tail violation is just so fucking sad because you hear it all the time. Right. Like even if he didn't stop at a stop sign, go fuck yourself. He does not yeah. deserve to get beaten. Yeah. Are you like, nobody, how I get, how I get that bad? They got that. bad. And it was, how was it five? It was like five of them. Like like that's gonna be their excuse. Why do you need like so not many? good. Not why do you enough. Need so many police officers. Did, did exactly. they think? Did Remember they think I told he you about was? me? Me on the platform in Queens. Yeah. It took it took more than five. It took more than five of them to take me off the platform and give me a ticket. Right. They, they do it all the time where they right. hang out in groups. You yeah, know, it's just it's a gang, it's a you know I gang a, mentality. A three pound dog, and they and, and I'm me. Yeah, it's like somebody jumping somebody and, and they just get too carried away. You know what I'm saying? Beat them to death. Like that's just just crazy. It but. was intimidating as hell to get yeah. off that platform and have five men and one one female <laughs> cop like all trying to apprehend me. And I'm right. like, what is about to happen right now? <laughs> what was he? Uh, what, what, what was he? What was they? I doing? had my. I had a. I had Carrie. I was coming back from oh, the, the vet. She was literally <laughs> three pounds at the time, so okay. she fit right here. And I had her carrier over here on my shoulder and I had her in my arm and the girl pulled me off because the dog was out of the carrier. Right. And when I came down, there were five men, cops, going through my wallet. They right. all went through my wallet and asking me questions about things in my wallet. Right. And I was just like, what is going on right now? Like, what? I'm going to miss my train. Are you guys serious? Right. Yeah, we're very serious. You know, and then they just get real snippy. You mm-hmm. know, and they gave me a ticket. It was a $75 ticket, which was so dumb. But but at, at that point, I just, I it's I started to get really nervous mm-hmm. when there's five male cops. Right. Yeah, no. Yeah, Who knows what they're going to try and say? Police. Fuck with you, especially a whole bunch of them, and they do it purposely sometimes to, you know. Court, you could tell she was like a rookie, to... and they were kind of like making her do it, yeah. and then, so she had yeah. something to prove too, to which decisions. is terrifying. Yeah, yeah, no, it's crazy. Like, I didn't even no. know it was a rule until then. It, was, I didn't even know that was a rule. It was right. just three pounds. Right. Like really, I don't. It's not like a, a bulldog or a. A freaking Rottweiler, full full grown Rottweiler, mm-hmm. like just chill. What? Mm-hmm. Well, little tiny. She was just a baby at that point. She right. might have been less than three pounds. Right. But I was still taking her to the vet. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, are we really gonna watch this? Uh, no, I don't want. I don't. Wanna, I don't. I'm not tripping on watching the video. We don't have to watch it. I mean, I have to yeah, find it. I'm sure Dude, everybody. Can I mean, find I it. feel. I feel everybody like can find it yourself. Just. Type it in. I'm sure yeah, and I kind of feel like it's my civic duty to watch so that because I'll watch it later. I don't want to like it. ignore the fact that it happened, but it's so hard to. Yeah, no, I saw him do just hit him, hit him oh in the God. head, just hit him straight to the head with the that Billy Club is hard as hell to hit somebody in the. That's what they did. I believe I I, I saw it hit. Yeah, he was there. Dude, the when dude. you see him, all I, I saw the after picture, and then you see what he really looked like, and then him in the hospital. It's two different people. I mean, he's so swollen. His face doesn't look like his face right. at, at all. There's like nothing about his face in the hospital yeah. that resembles what that human looked like prior to. Right. It Mateo's is horrific. Right. That's yeah. horrific. That's just crazy. Let me hold on real quick. So I, I want to. So yeah, other topics we got to talk about. So we also have 
um I would say these damn mass shootings, man. There's more mass mm -hmm. shootings than days in yeah. the, the new year. Like a lot, a lot more. Yeah, it's just crazy. So I'm just like, man, this the new world we're in. This is crazy. We'll be right back, folks. <laughs> and on that note. Yeah. <laughs>